Hi everybody, I'm again in this incredibly beautiful place. I mean the view here is astounding. It's part of the Welsh Valleys, um, sorry. It's part of Wales and it's a beautiful, beautiful spot to be in. And I've found um, all kinds of things, silver, hammered, well, piece of a hammered. Um, you know, I, I found spur parts and all sorts some cool buttons. Anyway, I'm out, I'm gonna do, it's a Boxing Day hunt. Um, you know, survive the Christmas meal with the family and then um, on to some digging. So yeah, Christmas, I hope it was good for all of you. It was good for me, really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to all of my supporters who, who follow my channel. I appreciate you all really, and I hope you had a great time. I'll be back with you. I'm gonna do a 10 hole dig and see what we find. Moving on. So what's my first target gonna be? It's a 65 on the Deus 2. Oh, that's not good. That double tappiness there shows me that. Could be surface, probably aluminium. Um, yeah, so first target is probably not going to be anything good. And we're already out. And it's there somewhere. Okay, so what's the first post-Christmas find going to be? Hope there's some life in this thing. Hmm. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm losing my knee pad and I don't know if I've got you on the correct angle to see anything. Uh, button would be my guess. Yeah, look at that. Flat button. Uh, yeah, broken shank, I think. Okay, cool. But very nice to start with a button for the first hole. Moving on. Target number two is a 50, a straight 50, well, 49, straight 50. I know a lot of you might uh, ignore those signals. On this field, I can't ignore any signals. There's so much stuff here. Still a straight 50, 51. Have a look. It's probably a piece of aluminium, let's be honest. But I assume that last bit would be rubbish also. Yeah, it's... Um, hmm. It's not aluminium. It's a little piece of uh, copper, I think, but I don't know. I can't see anything on it. Oh, yeah. Target number two. Just a piece of whatever it is moving on target number three a bit of a weird one it's like an 85 87 that way 70s that way i suspect it's um something trashy it's quite big got the sounds of it down in there. Oh, that doesn't sound very good now. Oh. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Whatever. Did I... 
don't know if I clipped that. No, I don't think so. Maybe I did. Mm. Anyway, it's some kind of doorknob or um, you know, for a cupboard. Something like that. That's cool. I like that. Number three. A lot of history on these fields, as I've said before. Moving on. Target number four. The 66. 66. 67, 66. Just nice and constant. The question is, what is it? Well, it's out. Oh, I kicked it all the way over here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I see anything, is it in there? Is that it? No, that's my glove. Hmm. Okay, where is it then? Yeah. You don't see anything. Well, yeah. Did you see that already? Button or coin? Target number four is a button. Yeah, four hole. Button. Cool. See what else we can find. Moving on. Number five, I think. The double toughy, so it's surface find. I don't know exactly where that is, but let's have a look. See if the, uh, the old pinpointer can pick that up. Yeah, it can. It's right there. Let's have a look what we have. Could be easily be a piece of trash. Doesn't like my uh, yeah. It's got interference from the. Ooh, still down there. I'm surprised my pinpointer picked that up. Ooh, is that something? Or is that a piece of rubbish? Oh, it's a yeah, <laughs> like a tarpaulin ring. Woohoo! It's round. Came out of the ground and now it's mine. Cool. Number five. Moving on. Number six, I think. Is there a 54? Double tappy, that's surface target. Let's have a look. We have here okay oh okay, I know what that is well it's either part, a piece of a button but I think more likely it's the top piece I have to clean that up of a thimble by the looks of that anyway I'll show you guys later but cool number six moving on number seven number six or seven seven maybe I don't know Tom 64 
holding out much hope for that one. He's out. Go on. Perhaps it's on the bottom of my boot. Yeah, it was. Okay. bit of stuff. A party fact of some kind. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Rougher stuffers. Nothing good. Moving on. I know it's not metal but as I'm walking along sometimes I'm catching these pieces of pottery and there's quite a lot of it here. So it shows that there's been quite a lot of history on this field. You know, I'm not the first metal detectorist here. The owners told me that there have been a couple of guys who've done this on a regular basis. So I'm very lucky that um, they let me on here, but also that I'm still finding targets. And quite a lot of them. Anyway, moving on. Number eight. <laughs> an 81. And I'm not, I think it's number eight anyway. I'm not holding out too much hope because it's not been my best 10 holder so far. It's out. And yeah, there's shooting in the background. So, try not to get shot while I'm doing this. time just in case I think and I think we're coin or button game gosh that's a uh, button okay I don't mind that though oldish kind of button cool right two more holes to go let's see if we can find something interesting Moving on. Number nine. An AT signal. Oh. It doesn't sound very good that way. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look what we have. Still in ground. It all. It's out. Don't know what to make of that signal now. Oh, number nine. It's in the clump. That's a cool find. Happy with that. It's a pocket watch winder. Or the remains of one. Oh, very cool. Took me a long time to find one of these. Now I find them often. Very cool. See you at the next. Last target, I think. Last target. The 80s, but it's got to be sat on the surface here somewhere. Let's see if we can get it with the pinpointer. Yes, we can. It's there somewhere. I don't see anything obvious though. 
Okay. Where is it? Oh, it's still in there. Take my glove off just in case. Breaking up. Okay, let's get a glove off. Perhaps that helps. Button, I think. Yeah, I can feel the shank. So, no coins today. Buttons. Pocket watch winder, which is always nice to find. And a piece of what I think is a thimble, but I'll clean that up and take a look at it. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Moving on. So, unfortunately, not much to show for this uh, ten-hole hunt. But that's a very cool bit of history there with a the pocket watch winder. Um, always, always happy to find these. Some of them can be really wonderfully designed with um, pattern on, but that's a very plain one. A piece of a thimble, definitely a piece of a thimble. But it's not complete, but hey, better than nothing. And a button. And this one has writing on. I haven't yet done the research on it. Um, Broughton and Co. Limited. I think it's W T W Broughton and Co. In from Birmingham. Cool button. Like to find them. Another button. This one also has had a little bit of silvering at some point. And the last button there, which is also very cool. Perfect. I'm sorry guys, I missed that out of the 10 hole um, wrap up, which is a shame because it's, it's the biggest find. Um, yeah, I don't know if I clipped it, still don't know if I clipped it. Um, but anyway, it's a cool find. I don't know what I can do with it. Perhaps I can repair it and use it for something. Yeah, anyway. Sorry I missed that in the main wrap-up, and I'll see you at the next. Thank you guys for watching my videos all the way to the end. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you on the next one. Moving on.